Hey, good morning, it's Mr. Brown. I just want to quickly explain what's going on here for the next couple of weeks. Uh, so pretty much we're at the end of the uh, school year. There is one last assignment I want you to do is check on grades for the fourth quarter. You're just going to go on SIS. You're going to check your grade like you have been doing the whole time. Uh, see what you're missing, see what you need. Um, wrapping up the year, May 18th, 19th right here. So there's fewer than 10 class periods left for the year. If you look at the calendar, we've got this week, we've got next week, we've got the following week, and then end of school is the last week. Uh, there's still SOLs going on this week, so that's going to take a couple of our days, uh, depending if you're uh, even our odd day. Um, but uh, just some important things. So that checking your grade for the fourth quarter, that's going to be your last grade for this class for this year. Use the rest of the time, work on and turn in any late assignments, any late, any missing assignments. It can be from the third quarter, it can be from the fourth quarter. Get it done, get it turned in. I cannot take any work after Friday, June 4th. All right, so you've got this week, that week, that week to get everything done and turned in to me. If you send me a message on Schoology, again, always make sure you're sending it to the right one, not the PE teacher. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be introducing a bunch of new activities on Schoology. These are entirely optional. They will have no impact on your grade. If you want to do it, excellent. If you still need some extra time to work on late work, work on the late work. Um, basically, I'm just going to try to introduce as many new fun things as I can here. Uh, as you look through them, find things that interest you. If you want to learn about 3D printers, look at the 3D printer stuff. If you want to learn about CNC's or lasers or more 3D modeling, more robotics, anything, pick something that's interesting to you. I will do my best for those of you virtually at home to have as much fun stuff at home as well. So like for the CNC machine, there's a virtual version in the software. You can preview everything. Um, however, there are some things like the laser engraver. I can't send you a laser engraver home because they are several thousand dollars. If you're in person and if you're going to be in our lab over there for any reason, you must take and you must pass the safety test. You must score 100% on that safety test and you can take it as many times as you need to. Same for the CNC machine and 3D printer. There's safety quizzes for those. There will be times during the class periods over the next couple of weeks where I will not be available on Blackboard because I will be in the lab making sure everything's going safely. Um, there's just some times where I will not be able to answer any questions on Blackboard, but you can always send me a message and there will always be times in the class where I will be there. Uh, if there's anything you want to learn more about, let me know. I can do my best to help you out. Um, you know, with the VEX robots, it's virtual, um, but there are the actual robots if you want to play with those. If you have any questions, let me know. Shoot me a message on Schoology, stick around and ask me. And I've also put this little any questions button right here. So if you have any questions, you can just put it here. Because if you have a question, somebody else might have that question. As far as where all the stuff is going to be in this optional activities folder, there's some stuff here already. I'm going to be adding more, but if you're going into the lab for any reason, you must take this safety test right here. Look at the slideshow. Um, there's activities with calipers, uh, activities with 3D printing. I'll put more 3D printing stuff in there with the CNC, laser graver, all that fun stuff. So again, this is all optional. Work on any work you need to get done. Get everything done, turned in by June 4th and let me know if you have any questions.